In this video, we're taking a look at the new MIDI multipart editing features in the Scoring Tools add-on for Studio One. These features make it easy and more convenient to edit multiple instrument tracks in one single view inside the Note Editor. This is helpful when you're composing or arranging parts in your song. This could be a melody and a pad or a bass line that you want to see together in one common editor view. Or if you're working on an orchestral piece, it could be a string section with violins, violas, celli and basses, or even drum or percussion instruments spread across multiple tracks. If that looks interesting to you, then stay tuned. These are definitely not groundbreaking features. Yes, I'm still rather new at marketing, but I really mean it. There's nothing revolutionary here. I added these features simply because they help me work faster and to make composing more fun. After all, not everything is about speed or workflow optimization. When I write music for myself, I want to have fun and avoid any tedious tasks that aren't creative. That's the whole idea behind the multi-part editing features. Basically, there are two main features. First, the functions to switch between parts, which are used constantly. That's why they have their own buttons right on the toolbar. And second, the assign unique track colors function, which I always use when starting a new section, like strings, woodwinds, or brass. You will find that one in the more menu. There's not much theory about these features, so let's just explore them by editing some parts. Let's say we wanna edit this string part here. What's the difference between tracks and parts? These here are the tracks, that's the violin track, that's the cello track and so on. And on the tracks we have parts or events, that's the same. To edit multiple parts in the editor, I select them either by dragging a selection or by holding the shift key and clicking on the different parts. Then to open them in the editor, I just double click on the selection. So here are all the notes of the different parts. But it's hard to see which note belongs to which instrument, because they are all the same color. And that's why I thought it would be cool to have a function that automatically gives them different colors so they are easier to see. That's what Assign Unique Track Colors does. One click and all the tracks have their own unique color and the notes in the editor as well. Make sure to have your note color set to part, otherwise if it's set to pitch or velocity, you won't see the track colors here in the notes. Of course, you can also restore the original colors if you choose restore track colors. So this makes it much easier to see the different voices of the instruments when you're working on a melody line or on different chord voices. By the way, if you're working in the editor, of course you can also have the Scoring Tools toolbar in the editor if you turn on the Macro toolbar and select the Scoring Tools page in the list. That makes a bit more sense here. And now we can use these buttons to cycle between the different instruments, only the ones we have in our editor view. Here you can see which instrument is currently in focus. And if you'd like to work on only one instrument, then you can click the focus button to hide all the other voices and focus on this instrument. And while in focus mode, you can still use the cycle buttons to go to the next instrument. Because Scoring Tools remembers the parts we were editing, so it just cycles between these instruments. And then, if I want to see the others, I just click on focus to show them again. So, Focus works like a toggle, it switches between only one instrument and all the instruments. At least for me that's really really helpful to work with complex parts, because I don't have to go to the arrangement and always change the selection. Of course, I can also use the multi-track editor inside of the note editor. You may not be aware of this one. This just gives me a better overview of which tracks I'm currently editing, and I can also show and hide instruments in this current view. And this also works nicely together with the next part and previous part buttons, which is new in Scoring Tools version 2, including the focus button. Of course, you don't have to use this just for strings. This could also be complex percussion grooves that you have on separate MIDI tracks, hi-hats and shaker on their own track and so on. And you want to edit all elements of that groove together in one common view.
or a song with synthesizers where you've got a pad and a bass and you just want to see both parts at the same time to check your chords and bass lines. Quick tip, if you're editing chords here in the editor, go to view and enable the chord display. That's a floating window that shows you the current chord. It has an editor mode, and when you select this editor mode, you can locate any chord with the cursor. And then when you change a note in a chord, it will instantly show you what chord that is, including the bass note. You also have this information down here in the editor, but the chord display can be freely resized and moved anywhere you like. Okay, but this isn't a chord display tutorial, so let me show you another small feature in scoring tools. Let's say you want to focus on a specific track, but you don't want to hide all the others completely with the focus button. Maybe you just want to make the other tracks read only, so you can still see them, but not accidentally edit them. For that case, I've added another small command, which is called toggle exclusive track editing. And now you can see that only the current track has this pencil icon. That means that this is the only track you can currently edit. If you're working with complex parts, this makes sure you can only select notes from the active track. You can't click on any other notes. And even if you track a selection, notes from other tracks will be ignored. And when you turn exclusive track editing off again, all tracks become available for editing and your selections include everything as before. That's just one more small tool for advanced note editing. Of course, you can map all these commands to keyboard shortcuts. For example, toggle exclusive track editing or assign them to a stream deck or a MIDI controller. So you could switch between your different parts with a button on your MIDI controller for even faster editing. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for my voice, I've been a bit hoarse lately. If you're interested, this is part of my Scoring Tools add-on for Studio One. Check out the product page, the link's in the description. And thank you so much for watching.